I think life is absolutely amazing. I love life. It's such a gift. It's such an amazing gift. It's the greatest gift is life. That's the primary gift. The secondary gift are the things in life. But the primary gift is the fact that you're alive. And we've been given slash chosen slash are. We are life itself. And that's the greatest giving gift. And people forget this blessing. And they focus on all the stuff in the blessing, in the gift of life. They get consumed, they lose track, they lose perspective. So I hope you have a lovely life. And remember the gift and go forth and seek healing, seek lightness, let go, open up, reach out, expand, let go of the previous limiting definitions and beliefs and meanings you're giving to things. And look at the bloody bloopin', the bloody bloopin' sky. <laughs> Everything is so nice around us, you know. I don't even just feel it to say the sun. I just love life. And another thing, when I travel to the to places, don't make it about the destination. Make it about everything. Have as much like happiness and joy and fun. Have as much fun and spontaneous fun and play and creativity and fun in your life. <laughs> Stop being attached to the outcomes and being reliant on things and people. Being dependent on them for your happiness. Have your happiness and well-being your responsibility, not other people's. So it doesn't matter how other people are, you don't let, use them as an excuse to unalign yourself from who you truly are, which is a being of love and understanding, tolerance, patience and compassion, and also wisdom and empowerment and thinking for yourself, finding and being clarity, not all these limiting de and negative definitions, meanings and interpretations and looking through the eyes of false notions and illusions. I want you to enjoy the gift of life with, for yourself and with me, to create a lovely new world together, a nicer world, a better world. Ever since I've been young, I wanted to become better, maybe, I don't know, 20 year old or something like that. Give or take a few years, I just wanted to become better. And the more better I get, because life will give you challenges every single day to become better. So just keep listening and learning and being open. Listening to others and listening to life and God or life's little messages, the universe, and become better. Life rocks. I love life so much. It's the best thing ever. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love, love it. All the possibilities, cycling, talking on a camera, listening to a YouTube video, walking. And before I made this video, I was just saying like, thank you so much for my legs. As you know, if you know me before, I was once not able to use my legs very well. I was rather crippled and disabled. Still a bit taboo words, but yes, I lost massive functioning. Now I'm appreciative of my legs. Before I lost all of my money, I wasn't appreciative, and then I lost it, and then I grew. I learned what money was, and some, it's often hard earned, and it's a beautiful gift. And I learned to appreciate life more, and money, my body, my health, my eyes, my legs. Imagine you were blind. Oh, how happy would you be if you were blind? Yeah, you could still maybe be harder. It'd be a lot harder. Big challenge. So appreciate your eyesight now, before I might possibly go. Lighten up and lighten your heart and get on well with the people. Stop looking at the people who you have a problem with as being bad, big problems. Stop viewing them that way. You're criticizing them and judging them so much if you're doing that. Having a closed heart hurts us. Primarily, secondarily, it's hurt, it maybe hurt other people if we're mean. Primarily, it hurts us. Just like anger. All that stuff hurts us first, everybody. I want you to have a really, 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 really good life. Happy, prosperous, positive, empowering life. No matter what. A life independent of the outside circumstances because you've started out your inside circumstances. You go about loving the tree. And like when I come to the sauna, 
there's three things happening. There's a trip there, there's a sauna, and then there's a trip home. I don't ruin my trip there or trip back and make it all about the sauna. I live unattached to the outcome of the sauna. I'm just busy going about my life having as much fun, positivity and happiness as possible. As much spontaneous laughter and smiling and playfulness as possible. Or in simply inspired positive action. I'm naturally kind and so are you. We like to help people. People are good. Life is the best. 